Good afternoon, grade 10. This is teacher Andy, and this is your basic first aid class. If you have not finished the work from last week, please stop, go back to watch the videos, do the work, and then turn it in to me. And then come back to this video to finish this week's work. But last week, we talked about DRABC. DRABC is an acronym describing the procedures used by the first aiders when providing first aid. So this just helps us remember the process. So D is for danger, check for danger. R is for response, is the casualty awake? A, check for airway, is there anything blocking the air from entering their body, or can they breathe? B is for breathing. Are they breathing? And C is for circulation. Is how their heart is working. Are they okay? Is it working? So this week we're talking about vital signs. Uh, vital signs uh, is it tells us a lot of information. It tells us if they're breathing, they're breathing the right way. Is, is there something wrong with their breathing? Is there something wrong with their lungs or their heart? Um, is their heart working the way it should? So vital signs gives us a lot of information and it tells us how we can help the victim. All right, so there's two main vital signs we'll look at. We'll check for the respiration rates and the circulate the heartbeat, resting heartbeat rate. So to check the respiration rate, bring this up here. The computer's working slow today. All right, so respiration or uh, respiratory. Remember, we learned about the respiratory system. We're talking about the lungs. So respiration, respiratory, the same thing, just a different ending. It means the same thing. So to check the respiration rate, we need to count how many times the person breathes. So to see how many times the person is breathing, we have to look at their chest or their belly, the belly. So anytime that moves, that means they're breathing one time. So uh, we need to count each time it moves for 15 seconds. So why 15 seconds? So I have these timers down here. So we have 15 is a quarter. So maybe one fourth, 30, is half the one minute, 45 is three quarters or, or uh, three over four of the minute, and 59 is the whole minute. So we check 15 seconds to make the math easier for us to do, and we can do the process much quicker than counting for a whole minute. So we'll count for 15 seconds Watch how many times their uh, chest or their stomach move. And we know then how many breaths they have in one minute. And we'll go to the next part. All right, so let's practice. So I have a timer here. It's 15 seconds. Let's see how many times we can breathe in 15 seconds. Ready? Begin. So I have four seconds. I'm running out of time, so I'll start my next video. We'll continue talking about this.